Okay, uh, today we're going to learn how to combine uh, audio source that was recorded with a separate device, uh, how to incorporate that into our video, and how to sync them up properly. Now, uh, another reason I'm doing this is that some students probably don't have an external microphone at this point. So in lieu of an external microphone, uh, what you can do is you can record with your phone. The idea for a good audio is to have your microphone, or in this case, just my telephone, <laughs> closer to your subject than the camera. When the camera is further away, it's going to pick up all, all the room noise and any noise that's in between. Also, ideally, uh, we would like to be able to set the levels manually. Now, on both the devices, my camera and my phone, uh, we can't do this. So, uh, let's see how it goes. I recorded, I already marked some in and out points. Let's, let's give a listen. A little experiment here. I'm recording the video with my uh, Nikon P7000. Uh, all the audio settings are just automatic. I'm also recording with my phone, which is... Okay, so you see it sounds like a little hollow, you know, like a little echoey. Uh, that's because the uh, camera is a certain distance away, and it's not that far away either. Uh, let's take a listen to the, the audio recorded from my phone, which you see in my hand over there. Now, this actually uh, got recorded a little hot, but also, uh, surprisingly, this is going to get taken care of also. So here's a little bit with my phone, which is a much little bit closer to me. Here's my phone right here using the voice recorder. So this sounds much uh, now better. This, the settings are also automatic. It would be good, ideally, if we could... Yeah, so this sounds a little bit better. It has more of what they call presence. You know, you hear the voice more naturally instead of that echoey sound. So uh, let's combine them together. To combine them together and sync them up, just select the, uh, the audio file and the video file. We can right click, oops, let's select them again, right click, and select Merge Clips. We get a dialog box asking us how we want to sync our clips together. Uh, of course, we want to use the audio. Uh, so it already figured out that it probably wants to use our new audio over here. I'll check Remove Audio from AV Clip. So this will take to strip out the audio from our movie. Uh, let's click OK, see what we get. Okay, so it made a new clip for us. Let's drag that into the timeline. So you can see they actually don't match up a little bit. That's because the movie clip and the audio clip were different lengths. But we could fix this up. Uh, if I want to select only the audio clip, hold down the Alt key or the Option key on the Mac. Hold down the Control key to create a ripple edit. And this pretty much snaps right to it. And let's listen to it. Okay, let's do a little experiment here. I'm recording the video with my uh, Nikon P7000. Uh, all the audio settings are just automatic. And let's skip the jet. Here's my phone right here using the voice recorder. Uh, now this, the settings are also automatic. It would be good, ideally, if we could uh, manually adjust Okay, so I think the audio is much better than it was. It also seemed to have solved the levels problem too. So, you know, if you're working on the cheap, like most of us are, you don't have a separate microphone, uh, use your phone as a separate recording device. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.